what's good everybody so i watched the netflix tv show called the ultimatum and i didn't do any review on it but i felt like it is necessary for me to do a review on it so i'm gonna do a little review on it the ultimatum if you have not watched it yet please go on youtube um netflix and watch it it's rather interesting so the conversation were very hard to um listen because i noticed that some of the behavior I might possess so I kind of saw myself in that light and it just never it kind of made me cringe the ultimatum the name of the show itself is when I and I heard ultimatum like ultimatum I don't believe in ultimatum that's just point blank I believe that if you're in a relationship and you have, you, you have to go to the point where you give ultimatum then you probably need to leave that, leave that relationship don't force somebody to marry you. Don't force somebody to do something that they don't want to do. That's just my thought on it. My whole thought on the, the process and everything. Ultimatum, ultimatums are trash. And you shouldn't give people ultimatum. Unless you're under person they are together for 20 years and they have kids together and stuff. And you feel like he or she needs to put a ring on it then. Then it's possible you can give ultimatum. But you're in a relationship for three years, two years, why are you forcing that person to marry you? And clearly that person doesn't want to marry you. Anyway, I'm gonna look at the the couples and then talk a little bit about them. Um so when I'm gonna talk about Mal and Yoli first. When I saw Mal, first of all, I really love Mal's um sense of fashion. It's so, you know, appealing. But yeah. I saw Mal and Yoli you know doing that thing i'm like ma seems to be you know kind of level-headed and knows what she wants because throughout the um the entire series she did not say she didn't want to get married instead she said she would like to achieve certain things before she gets married you understand and i never wanted to just choose ma to be my favorite because i didn't want people to say i'm biased because she is um, black and she's also part jamaican so me never really want to say um she's the best but i'm gonna be honest she touched a place in my heart she's she seemed to be very loyal she knows exactly what she wants and the conversation between she and yoli it's it's really awesome mind you i noticed that yoli tend to not answer questions straightforward she gives you the answer you know but she kind of go around the ring you know um but Throughout the thing, um, I just couldn't understand. Throughout the entire series, I just couldn't understand how Yoli just fall in love so quick. Like, what pushed you to be with somebody for three weeks and you're just madly in love? Was it lust? Was it infatuation? What was it make you fall in love so quick? I don't believe in love at first sight. I believe that love is a process. So I just couldn't understand how she was so madly in love with Xander. But everybody is different. And whatever um at the end of the series mal and yoli is no longer together and i support that motion yoli yoli fall in love too quick and mal deserve to get somebody who has that stable mindset you understand another couple um that i really liked um i like ozzy and sam ozzy struggle with a lot of you know trauma where she cannot um basically approach arguments so as something arises where she not agree with she walked away and it kind of made me cringe because i saw myself like that a few years back a few years back as, a, as an argument come up and me can't manage i just walked away and one of my friends had told me that kid you can't be doing that that's not nice and me never really never really grasped it until i saw ozzy basically walking away from every little thing that happened when you can basically talk about it you don't even have to argue just talk about it and come to a conclusion but i find i found um ozzy to be very genuine and sam too sam was a little bit laid back but um if i was going for a girlfriend i probably would choose sam because she's quiet and of course when she after she um did the trial date with tiff she kind of get more outspoken but i liked her yeah me like their relationship and it wasn't surprising that the relationship was strong by the time the reunion was supposed to happen all right so we have ray now ray and what the next girl name lexi oh my gosh ray is so beautiful by the way lexi is a hot too very so beautiful 
I like their relationship until Lex made um what the girl name Vanessa get into her head. I understand that Ray shouldn't have had, you know, coitus with um or do them physical touching with Vanessa because you know that can affect how people look on them. But Lexi constantly knock the hell out of um Ray with regards to Vanessa. She never let Vanessa and Vanessa um get involved with Ray and Lexi wouldn't allow um Ray to live it down. And for me, um I like them until Lexi just couldn't stop nagging. And I knew for sure, even though they came out at, at the reunion at the reunion and said, Oh, they're good, I knew for sure the relationship wasn't going to last. Because um Lexi in my opinion tend to kind of what you call it now hover um over a particular topic she not make it rest she just continue just nag 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 and even though Ray is kind of quiet eventually eventually you're gonna make her explode you understand so me didn't like them but the nagging was just so freaking annoying next Xander and Vanessa Oh my gosh, in my opinion, the character um, that Vanessa played or portrayed it was very narcissistic and it was triggering to me. Um, at the beginning, she was there for fun and she tells us that she was there for fun and it's like she never really loved Xander. But when she found out that Xander might fall in love with Yoli, she started to love bomb Xander. And, and, and it may just never feel, it never feel real to me. I'm like, damn. Damn, it never feel real to me. Come on, bruh. And it was just so triggering for me. I tried my very best to like her character, but I just didn't like it. And I knew she and Zander. Zander is such a sweet soul. And it's so messed up that she had kind of a surface love for Yoli, and Yoli didn't choose her. And I don't know. She's a sweetheart. Then we have Tiffany Mildred. You know, a lot of people tend to think that masculine presenting women are tough and strong. I saw Tiff, she looked tough and strong on the outside, but she was such a softy on the inside. And Mildred, la 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 She ran with that. She ran with that. She do a lot of gaslighting too, which wasn't good, but she's feisty. And she do answer some things and know, know that, shh, know that, Eventually, or actually, it's gonna hurt. Um, Tiff. Tiff is a sweetheart. Look how she take care of the dog. She has some um anger issues. Cause she, I think she struggled with. Oh, you know, one time she was crying and she was like, "No, I don't want to cry. I actually want to suppress her, 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 her tears." I'm like, "Girl, you're still a woman, no matter what." I don't know who she, if she, if she trans, if she says she's trans or whatever. I'm not sure. But me just I go by. You're still a woman, so. If you want to be emotional, and it's kind of stereotypical because man emotional too. Um, but just relax and make it flow. And don't say because, oh, my masculine presenting, me can't express myself. Because a lot of people want it to be like that, where you're masculine presenting and you can't express yourself. Express yourself. Cry if you have to cry. Ball if you have to ball. I think Mildred was a bit too much and too feisty. And see, and at the end, she end up fight and throw, throw something after, um, what the girl name? Tiff. So Tiff did have end up calling the police. But yeah, I would never, I would never ever join the ultimatum. If you're going to give me an ultimatum, let's break up. If I have to give you an ultimatum, let's break up. It is what it is. You, you mad? Don't force nobody to marry you because it's one time they marry Make them marry you after them one will, bruh. I don't want at the end of the day you resent me because I say, are you force me to marry you? Because at the time I never wanted, I wasn't ready, and then you forced me to marry. No, 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 no. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. <coughs> I remember for comment. What do you think about giving ultimatums? Big up on yourself. Bye.